Hello. So, um, in the previous video I was playing with this Captain um, GLC PCB made of uh, coil, which was really heavy. Um, let me see if I have... Uh... Yeah, where are they? Hmm, where are the old coils? I need one because I received new ones from Peter, the guy I mentioned in the previous video. After he saw the video, he thought, well, I have to order some uh, Flex PCB anyway, so I'll order some of your design with it. And he kept, I believe, a, a few or one, I don't know, but he wanted to play with it. Uh, and he sent some over to me so I can check the difference because Many said in the comments that you have to remove the, uh, almost everyone said that actually, you have to remove the um, solder mask to get rid of both the um, extra captain layers on the front and back side. So that's what he did and he adjusted the trace spacing a little bit so it doesn't short out to 0.15 I believe. Yeah, I believe that was what it was. Uh, and it, it's it's removed from the actual trace, so uh, the resistance will go up a little bit. Uh, as well as mine were kind of short out, most of them. And the one I tested, well, the last one I tested, might still be slightly shorted out. So instead of, I had like 3.3 ohm or something, this is 4 point something, I believe, but I'll measure it. But that has to do with maybe not shorting out and the traces became even a little bit smaller because the trace clearance in between the traces <coughs> went up a little bit. I do need to find those because the old ones. So let's see. Uh, first of all, let's check if they're the same size. So this is mine. And these he sent me, he sent me something else as well to show what stiffeners can do in flex PCB because I didn't even know they existed. Oh, that feels much better. So, ah, those stiffeners, yes, I've seen those. Not sure what this is, but It's something he used. Uh, oh, I, I think they're just uh, patch cables. Well, as normally uh, this flex material is used for. So, aha, so you put these stiffeners on the end where there's gold plated fingers. Really cool. So, if you look at the design. It's a little bit different. He only uses a tiny trace to connect on the back side. So it is double sided. Mine used like a huge piece here and then a trace. You can hear some uh, clearly. This will create some noise. So this is far less noisy as you can hear, but it's also much heavier, which uh, usually goes together. So let's see what the original, the faulty one was weighing. 0.7 grams, 7.4 grams. Zero point five three. So it is lighter by one third. It's, it's a miracle because you would expect it to be even more or less. I mean, 0 0.76, 0 0.52. Yeah, so around, yeah, one third lighter. Let's measure it. Um, yeah, so these are the pads. 4.5, 4.6 compared to this one might be shorted out, so who knows? Oh yeah, I have to scratch off all the crap. 
not feeling like doing that. I will see if this uh, how this corrugates. Not sure if I'm gonna put it in a frame yet. By the way, thank you, Peter, for sending these over. And these stiffeners are quite interesting. Let's put this uh, through the corrugator, see if it holds any shape. I think it will. Better than the, uh, the the first one. I'm not sure if this is like a tweeter, um, something that. I don't know if this will replace the method I'll, I use, to be honest. This is of course very nice that you can order something and it's, it's, it's really nice. But um, as you can hear it's also far noisier. This still works so that's good. Let's check the other one, see if there's any difference, or uh, maybe they're all the same. I guess they're all the same, because mine were shorted out, clear. So I'll just measure another two. Oh, you see, 5.1. 4.9. That's 4.5, 5.1, 4.9. So, hmm, weirdly enough, they are quite all over the place. And that's what you get with etching. At least that was usually my problem, is that if you leave it a little bit too long, it will eat away some of it, and you will end up with a higher resistance. And for most applications, something like this doesn't really matter, because, uh, well, who cares? But it will matter for my purposes. So this is 5.2, the highest of all. This one was actually the lowest, for four and a half. So these are actually the same, so you have to match them or something. 4.9. So maybe this is the one that is weird, because this is much lower than these three. 4.5. 5 fish. 5 fish. 4.9. So these are rather close or almost the same. This one is, yeah, half an ohm lower, which is not insane, but I think this kind of accuracy I can achieve by plot cutting. I think. I mean, higher than half an ohm difference. Maybe not at this level, of course, because this is very thin traces. Although they can be uh, thinner, I think. Well, I actually do need to test it, of course. And I wonder, is there still some sort of coating or... No, I guess not, but... It doesn't look like coppery. Or is this like gold-plated? All over. I don't know. Is it? Who knows? Does someone know? Because this is not very coppery color. 
Shall I, uh, yeah, I maybe shave off a little bit, rub, see if it is indeed gold plated all over. It's gonna be expensive for them. If so, I need a sending path. <clears throat> now there is some copper color seen. Let's see if this is indeed copper or if I like scratch through the whole thing. Yeah. So it looks to be uh, sort of plated all over. That's why they're like more like a gold looking which is uh, obvious and here you can see there I scratch it away and it is conductive so there's your more reddish copper this line there it's hard to see I mean a reflection and such there. That's funny. So it's actually more like a copper uh, membrane. Well, I mean, goldish, goldish colored membrane. I thought, well, this lo doesn't look like copper. I mean, I got copper, it's far more red. You see? Nothing alike, so yeah, apparently it's all gold plated. They must love this uh, design, I guess, because uh, it will cost them far more gold plating than usual, I can imagine. I bet they're not liking this at all. Because I don't think it is taken into uh, account the, when the price is made. I have to ask if these were more expensive. Well, it's hard to tell because I think they came in batches like this. With the things he actually needed. And added this to it. Hmm. I'll ask him. I didn't know they would play everything. Because at first I was afraid that if you remove the solar masks on both sides, uh, corrosion might be a problem. But if it's like this, this corrosion should not be any problem. Yeah, I probably do have to add it to the frame just for a small test. But first I have to measure the old one. And it's not so much about the frequency response, I think. I'll just measure it real quick because it's it was cobbled together but maybe we can see some in difference in output because this is one third lighter see how that translate or something then again I have to calculate back for the impedance difference so it's not as easy uh, as it looks anyhow uh, interesting I'll uh, give this a try I guess It's fun, fun material. Not sure if I add it on this video, maybe in the next video, but a short one because I don't have much time. I have to play basketball. Well, I have to, I want to, because I'm getting fat. <laughs>